it's uh, Friday morning, early. Haven't had my breakfast yet. But I was reading something and I thought, this would be an interesting quote to try writing with my dip pen. And so that is what I'm going to do. Maybe you'll watch me while I'm doing it. Maybe it will inspire you in some way. But um, here I have my piece of paper and here I have my dip pen. And uh, I just want to write this quote. Let's see what you think. Get some ink on it. Hi, Joanna and Pam. It's nice to see you. Cicadas, huh? I know. They're kind of crazy. We have, I don't know if they're cicadas that we have here, but there's certainly some kind of cricket action that seems incessant, incessant going on. Sometimes it sounds like it's actually in our house. Deco Painter and T and Jesus. Nice to see you both. Um, as I said earlier, what I'm doing is, uh, I don't know, I was getting ready to have breakfast, and I came across this quote, and it just said, said to me, you know what, I think you should write that out for yourself to kind of reinforce the message of, uh, of what it's saying. So, that's what I'm going to do, and hopefully you will join me. Whoops. That's not what I want to have happen. So I will attempt to fix that. <laughs> yes, it's, a, it's as I said, early in the morning, still working on, you know, haven't gotten all the tech, technical glitches that I would hope for. Joanna said I spent some time drawing them. Oh, the cicadas, yes. I had one hang out on my colored pencil. That seems kind of repulsive, actually, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Good morning, Lori. Um, I am just, you know, randomly decided to do some, some writing, to write out some, a quote that I thought was pretty cool, and I thought it would be nice to hang out with you while I did it. Using the old dip pen and some India ink on some nice new paper that I got that's especially designed for, uh, for lettering, which is interesting. It's very smooth, which makes it really nice to write on. And uh, I'm happy with it. Mark just got a copy of Illustrated Journey. Oh, yes. That is a fun book. Illustrated Journey is a book that I did about um, travel journaling, which we will finally be able to do again. I'm actually getting ready to go on an airplane for the first time in a long time in a couple weeks. Um, going back to New York. Hi, Lanny. Thank you. That's very nice. Melissa, Texas. What's going on out there? And Lori, good morning to you too. So, yes. There is, uh, there we go. I should probably be playing some music, don't you think? Maybe you have some music playing in your background you can listen to. I just have the sounds of birds going on here. A lot of birds in our garden today. And, uh, Speaking of cicadas, or actually more accurately, probably just crickets, sometimes I wake up early in the morning, well, sometimes, quite often, here in Phoenix, it's extremely hot. Probably going to be 107 today. And um, so I like to get up really early before it gets too hot and 
get outside. Um, and when I wake up first thing in the morning, I'm not sure what time it is, I can tell that the sun hasn't risen based on what critters are making noise out there. The bugs are going until dawn and then the birds take over. Probably because the bugs are saying to themselves, you know what? Probably better to get away now that the birds have woken up, seeing as they're going to snack on us. Deborah, good morning from uh, Nashville. And Leslie, hello. Constance just started a sketchbook five days ago. Fantastic. It will change your life if you let it. I promise you. It changed my life in so many ways, and so many people have. So keeping a sketchbook, it's fantastic. And uh, make sure you write down a quote that you come across somewhere in your sketchbook. That's what I do to encourage myself. First page write a good quote to kind of motivate myself through it. So think about that. Sabine, four in the afternoon here. So where are you? You must be in Europe somewhere. Sabine, probably, by judging by your name, Holland, Belgium, something like that. Jen, hi. And here in Connecticut, the birds stop and then the frogs take over. Frogs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Marjolein in the Netherlands, hello, and uh, Sheila in the left coast of Florida. Left meaning geographically, probably. I don't think there is a politically left coast in Florida, but that's another story. Um, yes, Belgium, good, that's what I thought. Sabine's from Belgium. And uh, good, um, where was I? stop talking while I'm writing, sometimes I accidentally screw up the spelling of a word because I'm talking and I'm thinking about the individual letter. There's nothing more embarrassing than doing that, particularly in public. And then suddenly you go, oh, I totally left out a letter in that word because I was so busy yammering and not concentrating. So, Millions long for immortality who don't know. Okay, so, so far we're on track. Pug in the background snoring. She's taking a morning nap after getting me up super early to take her for a walk. Ungrateful beast. Hi, Mark. Three months since you started your first sketchbook. Oh, wait, so you, Mark says started with Danny's interview about a book on NPR several years ago that started a chain of events that had a rather large effect on my life. That's so exciting. It must have been a very gradual journey that you were on. You listened to NPR, and then you're inspired. Years later, one domino fell and hit another. I wonder what that sequence was. It sounds fascinating. But I'm glad that it brought you here now. So, Sung Su, my friend in Korea. It's so nice to see you as well. And uh, I'm glad you're all here. Phyllis in the Isle of Wight. That's very nice. And Lanny in Virginia. Very good. All right. Dazed and confused in Florida. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and Connie in Saskatoon. All right. And Creapix in Bonn, Germany. Leslie has in-laws in Phoenix. 
Yes. Yeah, you have to get up really early here. You have to get up early and get it done. And then, I don't know, you know, it gets progressively hotter here. You know, I've only lived in Phoenix now for about a year. Um, and I do love it. And it is starting to get to be summer. I mean, what am I talking about? It is summer. We just had Memorial Day. It's summer. And yet, it doesn't feel like it should be, right? Yes, Joanne has to get up in Utah early. Yeah, basically it gets progressively hotter until about five o'clock. I was like, I thought, I thought it was supposed to be hottest in the middle of the day. Isn't that what you think of? Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Sun, noon, that's the correspondence. But no, here it gets progressively hotter until the sun sets. It's a madness. Well, until about five o'clock. And then we stop working, we go in the pool, we start to drink beer, and we, f we feel comfortable outside. box myself into a situation here because I wasn't really paying attention. I have to fit a rather long word into a rather small space here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it down here. It's going to throw off my composition a little bit, but uh, that's okay. My phone just rang. I don't know about you, but I find that I almost never answer the phone anymore. Let it go to voicemail. It's a weird kind of aspect of our life. Remember the old days when you used to run to the phone? All right, I have to figure out what to do now with this part. Millions long for immortality, who don't know what to do with themselves on a rainy Sunday afternoon. It's true. Do we make the most of every single day we have? I mean, I think if we did, that would be enough. How many days do you really need? But I was reading the paper just yesterday, or last night, about the fact that increasingly they think they're going to be able to come out with something that ex extends our life almost indefinitely, like stops the funk, the things that lead to our demise, the things that cause us to start falling apart and dying at a certain point, those processes. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I think we should try and figure out how to make the most of what we have, right? It's, uh, we got plenty, we got plenty of time already, but we don't use it terribly fruitfully. Who am I to say? Maybe you're making the most of every day. I sometimes think I'm not, but I try to keep busy. Ah, okay. What is my favorite letter to draw? 
Yeah, E. I like I like S. I like R. I like M. I like O. I, you know, there's so many interesting shapes in letters, and uh, it's really fun to make them dance, make them do stuff. You know, and you could go back in, you can embellish them a little bit more. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that came out pretty well. Something to think about. All right. That's my exercise for this morning. Um, is this live, Judy? Yes, of course it's live. Is it a replay of yesterday? I like that idea. Yes, we're doing we're doing Thursday over again. You didn't do it well enough. We need to we need to take you back. Your Thursday no, sorry. It's time to do Thursday again. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> sorry, Judy, I don't mean to make fun of you, but you're it's perfectly true. You know? This could be typical of my fakery where I appear to be live, but I'm not. Did you dream yesterday, Judy? I don't know. Sometimes I have days that are nightmares, and sometimes I have days that are idyllic. Yesterday was okay. Yesterday we had Draw With Me. Did a few things. It was pretty good. Wednesday actually was kind of lousy. Yeah. I don't know about you, but these days are strange. It's, I mean, it's, I don't think any of us really thought that this would be the way that it is, right? That, that suddenly there would seem to be light at the end of the tunnel. But we've kind of we kind of liked living in the tunnel. The tunnel's pretty good. It's cool. It's calm. Seems sort of predictable. And then there's the tunnel. There's the mouth of the tunnel. And we're slowly moving towards it, stepping out into the daylight again. Blinking. Grimacing. Wondering what's out there. So, I don't know. I've been feeling that a bit myself. And I hadn't thought I would. I thought I would just be relieved to be done with this. And we're not done with it, of course. There's still many, many, many people who are still suffering through it. But it's still, um, we are, to quote my friend, dazed and confused. Flamingos. Interesting. Is there an official name to this font style? Yes, it's called Gregory Medium. You can, uh, you, you can probably find it uh, in your operating system. No, this is just me messing around, writing stuff, playing around with my, with my pen and having fun doing it. So, all right. I'm going to go and eat my breakfast, I think. And, um, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the tunnel. So I'll see you again soon. And, oh, by the, in the meantime... Also, I just thought I would mention that I am teaching this workshop, which is about drawing with a dip pen. So, apropos, it's on my mind a lot these days because I've got to prepare for it and it's going to be coming up soon. So, uh, that's about it. That is about it for me today. Nice to see you. Thanks for jumping on with me spontaneously. Have a great weekend. Make something. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.